Israel shall be saved. What does that mean, sis? You want to hear my side. Let what does that mean? Let me see your mic. What does that mean? Let me see your mic. You're a rebellious sister now. I'm rebellious? Yes. All Israel, who? All Israel yes. shall be saved. The Bible is saying all Israel shall be saved. This truth must be pushed throughout the state of South Carolina by all means necessary. Our people are in desperate need of God's laws out here. We're the men to stand boldly to get the job done against all opposition that standeth in our way. And opposition will come. In fact, it's already here. Every day we put our lives on the line to save our people. Exactly. And that's even in the midst of all the opposition that come our way. But this is our mission. It doesn't matter how we feel or what we think. We all have our own issues. But who's going to rise up when the Most High calls? It's time to gather the saints from Columbia to Spartanburg. Charleston to Myrtle Beach. We hit the streets for the lost sheep. So men of war, gather yourselves together. Let's get ready for battle. Strap your boots, no excuse, let's push this troop. Whether it's two by two or the whole crew, get ready, we coming through. We are not a hate group. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group. Israel, united in Christ, is a non- Violent! Violent! Faith! Movement! IUIC. You are now lying. Let's go. Listen and said unto her, If thou knowest the gift of God, you knew the gift of God. Read. And who it is that saith to thee, Give me to drink. If you understood who I was that was before you, lady. Read. Thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. He would have given you living water, water to where the understanding of the scriptures to where you apply it, and you would live forever. You would live forever. Read. The woman said unto him, uh -huh. Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, uh -huh. and the well is deep. Right. From whence then hast thou that living water? Now she got caught on. The well is deep. You ain't got no water down there. Where you getting your water from? Read. Art thou greater? Now she's going to ask Christ a question, Christ being a Jew, right? She says, Christ, are you greater than who? Than our father. She said, that Samaritan woman said, are you, Christ, greater than our father who? Jacob. Did all nations come from Jacob, sis? Yes. All nations came from Jacob. Abraham. All got, did all nations no, come from Abraham? He said, you're the father of all nations. You're no, the father, father of, many, of nations. many nations. So Abraham, but, who did Abraham have? But who, Isaac. who did she say her father was? Read it again. Jacob, but did not. Art thou greater than our father, father Jacob? Jacob? So what does that mean? That she is a child of Jacob. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Exactly. That means the Samarians are the children of Israel. Which is true. Right? true. But this is where my problem is. You're not listening. If Jacob is a son of Isaac, uh -huh. who was the son of Abraham, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Where did all of us come from? Adam and Eve. And? Does that mean that they chosen? How are they not? If we're all the it same lineage. Let me show you something. And you know what is heavy? I like the dialogue. You know why I like it? Because a lot of our people struggle with this thing. Right. Our people, listen, we watch our people become uh, the bottom of the barrel in education. We live in the worst neighborhoods. Our, our people are not getting married. Our women are single parents. Our brothers and sisters are out there selling six drugs, people, selling their bodies. Six, six, our people, we're, we're the lowest of low in the nation. We continue to be oppressed by our oppressors, the same people that did this to us. And the second we come out and show them that, look, you're the Israelites. Christ only came for you. We get, but what about everybody else? Make it make sense. They don't give a, John 316 was not around. Did they give us John 316 when this happened? Does John 316 matter when they continue to buy more prisons for our people to fill instead of schools? Right. Does John 316 matter to that policeman that shot baby girl in the kitchen? Yeah. Did he care about John 316? No, but our people hold on to John 316 because we suffer from something very heavy called Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah. Stockholm Syndrome is when the oppressed are so oppressed and the, and the oppressor comes and gives you a little gift and you say, you know what, he's not that bad because we're so jacked up inside. Yeah. To the point where we don't want vengeance, we don't want anything but to be together in the kingdom of heaven with the same people that are oppressing us. So we don't want vengeance, that's what you're saying? We do want vengeance, but let me deal with that nation of people thing, because we all come from Adam, read. 
2 Ezra chapter 6 verse 54 And after these Adam also whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures uh -huh. Of him come we all So you're right everybody comes from Adam Read. I'm going to show you something read And the people also whom thou hast chosen so Out of all the people that Adam created He had a set of people that he chose right. He had a favorite people He had a people that he held special unto him He had a people that he made holy unto him he separated them read i got you all this have i spoken before thee O lord uh -huh. because thou madest the world for our sakes the world was created for our sakes his chosen sake read as for the other people so now he's saying as for the other people the people that the so-called black hispanic and native american man is so worried about their salvation we're jacked up we're not worried about a hey, no questions come up with how do we fix our prison system how do, we, how do we fix single parent households in our community? Bring it up, bring it up. How do we fix the murder rate in Chicago or in Columbia? We don't worry about that. We worry about if the so-called white man can make it into the kingdom with us. That's our issue. Read. As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said. God has said, what about these people? This is in the Bible. Read. That they are nothing. God said that this set of people that they are nothing. Read. But be like unto spittle. They're like the spit that drops out of your mouth when I get too excited and a little spit sprays up in the air. That's how God feels about those other people. But our people don't feel, our people love their oppressor. They love their oppressor. You know what? When they go, they come out of their communities, they can live up there in Northeast with a nice house. But I'll be damned if they don't go to Lake Murray and see the lakefront houses and the boats and all that shit. Like, damn, these niggas living different. You know? They living different. Let alone everybody don't live in a nice house in our community though. We go back to our ghettos, our projects, our slums, and, and then we then we see them riding around with their Benzes and with all that other stuff. And we don't think like, damn, how do we get out of this? You know? We're more worried about after we being told who we are, we say, how come everybody else can't get it? Shit, they already in their kingdom. Right. They got what they want. Christ ain't coming for them. Right. He's coming to get that in Luke chapter one. This is who Christ is coming for, man. What time you know? is it? This is who Christ is coming for. Luke 1 verse 68. Luke chapter 1 verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. The Bible's only an Israelite book. Right. They took our Bible, painted their faces as, as our people, Moses and Jesus and, and um, Isaiah and everything else, and taught us that they was these people and we were nothing. We were the cursed seed of Ham. Or we are slaves, obey your master, and then you'll get a blessing. Right. Blessed are the poor. They gave us all those different doctrines to beat us down mentally right. to the point where we feel like them giving us a damn job is a blessing. Right. When we were meant to rule over them and rule over this entire universe. Right. And we don't know that, we don't consider that. Read. For he had visited and redeemed his people. He visited and redeemed his people. Who was God's people? Who's God's people? You know it. Bring it out. The Israelites. The Israelites, right? Read. That's right. And hath raised up in horn of salvation for us. For us. Salvation for us. Us. That's that's um what you call it? What you Possessive. call it? Possessive. He raised up a horn of salvation for us. Read. In the house of his servant David. In the house of his servant David. Read. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. That we should what? That we should be saved. That the Israelites, his people, should be saved from who? From our enemies. And? And from the hand of all that hate us. So they got to be a set of people that's not going to make it because they are the ones that became our enemies and they hate our guts. What nation of people hates the so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans? Bring it up. Across the world, every single other nation on the planet. They do that. Give me what repentance is for. Acts 3. Give me that. Who's repentance for? That lets you know who salvation is for. Then give me what Christ came for. Acts chapter 5, verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. And that's what we mentioned here because um, we get told this a lot. A lot of people say we don't listen, right? Yeah. We don't listen, right? But it says we rather obey God rather than men. So where's the word of God at? In the Bible. I got a question. Hold on, let me finish this real quick. Read. Okay. Then God, the God of our fathers. The God of our fathers, read. Raised up Jesus. Jesus was only raised for Israel, read. 
whom he slew and hanged on a tree. So some of our people did reject Christ and gave him over to Pontius Pilate and say, hey, crucify him. So you're right, read. Him has God exalted. Him has God exalted now. He became a horn of salvation, read. With his right hand right. to be a prince. To be a prince, read. And a savior. And a savior and to do what? For to get repentance. To give what? For, to give repentance. We started our conversation talking about repentance, right? To give repentance to who? To Israel. The whole world. To Israel. The Arab man. To Israel. The Israelites. Read on. And forgiveness of sins. And for them to have forgiveness of their sins, which they're going to learn once they're taught the laws out the Bible. You understand that? Give me what uh, you got what I want. Read. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. This is the words out of Christ's mouth now. Read. But he answered and said, I am not sent. Christ said, I am not sent. My father did not send me. Read. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Well, scripture says that Christ came for, to save everybody. Okay. So first, before I give it to you, who are the Gentiles? Who are the Gentiles? Another great question. Give me the sign of and you know what I want. Out of, um, what is it, Romans? And once were Gentiles, Corinthians. First Corinthians 12. Who were the Gentiles, right? And these are great questions. I don't want you, we're not disputing nothing. A uh, Lord's will, we can deal I'm to that. Sure. I got one of my bags. I'm going to show you who the Gentiles are, right? The other side. Matter of fact, read that real quick. Go ahead. Until it gets you. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I will not have you ignorant. Uh -huh. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. He says you know that you were Gentiles. Read. Carried away unto these dumb idols. Carried away unto these dumb idols. Who was carried away from dumb idols? Go back to Hosea 4 and 17. Sure. Who was carried away unto dumb idols where he says you were Gentiles? Read that. Hosea chapter 4 verse 17. Ephraim is joined to idols. Ephraim, the northern kingdom of Israel was joined unto idols. Read, do what? Let him alone. Let him alone. <laughs> of Christ's coming was not just to give repentance to the Israelites, but to unify both northern and southern kingdom. You always say that Ephraim was Gentiles. No, you're talking about the northern kingdom of Israel. Plus, no, let me show you something. Let me read that. Get that. This is from the Zonovan Compact Bible Dictionary. This defines the words that are in the Bible. Read. Gentiles. Gentiles, read. Usually. What? Usually. Usually means sometimes. Sometimes, right? Read. It means a non-Israelite people. So it says sometimes you're going to read Gentiles in the Bible, and sometimes it's going to mean a non-Israelite people. But so that means that sometimes when you see Gentiles, it means that they are Israelites, right? So we got to deal with context when we see Gentiles in order to determine who he's talking about. But it also says some of them are non-Israelite people. Of course. True or false. So let's deal with that. So let's go to Romans 11 and 11. I like that. Now, as a matter of fact, we're going to go there. Romans 11 and 11. Get up. Like, like practice. Mark your Bible up. <laughs> Romans chapter 11, verse 11. Right. I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? Had that who stumbled? Israel. No, who's Israel? God's people. Three. God forbid. Go ahead. But rather, through their fall, through their fall, read, salvation is come unto the Gentiles. Right? Ooh. Who were those Gentiles? It says, through their fall, Get your book. salvation Get your book and read who the shall Gentiles come. Are again. Who let the Bible speak, right? What? The book. Hold on, hold on. No, you know what? Get the book. Get it. Get it. Hold on. Because for some reason, you act like sometimes, you're saying sometimes means that. <laughs> All right, when it says sometimes I'm not it means saying a non Israelite people. Hold on, and you record me. You make sure yeah, you get it, it good. Read. Listen to me. Right. Is every person chosen by God? No. No. Are we the Israelites? Yes. Okay. However, the problem is you don't want to include. Is everyone included? No. Because guess what? The angels of God. Um, angels God is of, not included. Hold on. Read 1126. You ain't now. the one to listen. Did Romans you say, 11 verse 26 say? says. Read. Romans chapter 11 verse 26. This is Romans 11. Read. We're going to get straight to the point. Read. Because you don't know. And so, all Israel. All who? All Israel. All who? All Israel shall be saved. The Bible is saying all Israel shall be saved. 
work. Now we read the definition of Gentiles. How on earth are you going to take sometimes and now make it definitively mean somebody else according to this context? It is definitive here though. Read 26 again. Verse 26. Right. So, all Israel. Romans 11 says, all Israel. Read. Shall be saved. It says, all Israel shall be saved. What does that mean, sis? You want to hear my side. What does that mean? Let me see your mic. What does that mean? Let me see your mic. You're a rebellious sister now. I'm rebellious? Yes. And you're yes, not? because you're not humble down to the word of God, You're not humbling. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's nation time.